All right, welcome back. So, one of the projects I am taking care of today is I need to replace the blower on our fireplace. Um, it's a Rainier, Rainier fireplace. The, the product is... The one that we're replacing it with looks pretty similar to the one that came out of it. It is the Avalon and Lopi rear mount replacement blower. Um, this one was ordered from fireplaceblowersonline.com. Um, so, came off pretty easily. They're only, I can't really get back there to show you. Um, tight fit. Um, there are only three bolts holding it in. One, two, three. Um, the problem we have run into is that the one that came out was riveted in and the one that's going in is bolted in. So, and this one all has, um, electrical connections where the one that came out of it, um, Um, the one that came out of it, one was a connection, the ground was screwed in, and then one was um, wire, hard wired together. So that was the one that was the connection, the ground was um, screwed into the blower, and then the white one is the one that was um, hard wired. So, now I've got to run to the hardware store, get the bolts, get a small splice kit so I can make those wires down there fit these wires here. Um, so that is where I'm at at the moment. As soon as I get back from there, we will pick this up. Uh, so one thing I forgot to mention, the easiest way to get those rivets out is to just take a a drill bit um, very carefully you don't have to drill all the way out you just have to break off the flat end that's on the outside um, just drill it out until that comes off um, and then you probably have to pry with very little pressure um, on the back side of this here that's between this piece and here just just a flathead screwdriver any screwdriver really just kind of some prime motion We'll pop that loose um, and allow that piece to come out of the housing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. As always, I am Kyle. Um, and my project for today is getting the dog out of the way. Get out of here. Get. Get. Um, is replacing the blower on our fireplace. So that's what we're working on. All right, before we really get into this, um, with this sort of, this type of thing, main safety concern is, um, you definitely want to make sure you don't lose your nuts and bolts. Um, you want to make sure that I did. Um, make sure you you disconnect the power so it's easy enough for ours because it's just plugs into the wall um maybe yours is hardwired into an outlet or hardwired um in that case you'll want to make sure you shut that breaker off um yeah electricity you don't want to you don't want to play around um with that so make sure you disconnect the power um either unplug or turn off a breaker um so yeah these are gonna be perfect all right so the nice thing the nice thing with this type of setup um is that the holes don't really 
through here, um, if you end up getting bigger bolts, it doesn't matter because these really don't need to be a specific size. So you could always drill the hole a little bit bigger. Um, but I managed to get the right size. So that's going to be... Okay, Daddy. No. Um, we're going to replace the attachments first. Okay, take some pictures after you're done. <clears throat> So, like I said earlier, the new unit came with all of these attachments. That is nowhere in focus. Alright. Can I make it focus No. Yeah. All right, so these are the new the attachments that the new unit came with. The old unit, the old unit only had one one attachment like that. So down here, I need to <clears throat> uh, I need to attach these to the ground and the white wire so we can plug them in to the new unit. So now this is kind of the tricky part. Um, they do make a, the trickiest part is gonna be crimping these so that they stay, so that they stay on the, on the wire. They, they do make a crimping tool, but for someone like me who just, who doesn't, I don't do electrical work, there's really, it's a waste, of, it's a waste of an expense, waste of money, um, because I use it this one time, probably never use them again, so what you can do is you gotta be very careful, um, I guess it's a good thing that the pack comes with multiple pieces because um, you can, so as long as you're careful, you can just use a regular pair of pliers um, and crimp them, crimp it that way. Um, do you want to make sure? Alright. So, when you put this piece on, now, uh, disclaimer, I am not an electrician. I do hardly anything with electrical. Um, but some of this is, is the stuff you can, you can do without needing that level of expertise. Um, so step one, you know, right here, when we, but you want to make sure, dang it, um, when you put this connector on, on get back in there. if you look through, if you look right here, you can actually see the wire. Um, that's what you want to see because you should. That should mean you're going to get a nice, good connection. And when you go to crimp this, you don't want to squeeze too hard to the point where you're going to cut through everything, but hard enough to where it's going to seal it or crimp it together and create a nice firm hold uh, which that did not do <laughs> all right i guess we gotta squeeze a little bit harder okay we're in there like i said i don't want to actually cut through which this could do very easily But you want to make sure you squeeze it hard enough to where it actually grabs the wire. Alright. Well, number two.
to check something first. <laughs> That's the other thing, you gotta make sure you get the right size female part that'll fit the male part. Alright, let's see if I can just crush it with this part of the pliers. This is why I can never be an electrician. One, the electricity messing with it, it just is terrifying. Um, two, um, <clears throat> just like being a mechanic, stuff doesn't always cooperate. hardest part is stripping this wire. strip it out but not too much that you actually um, cut the wires because then that would I don't know if that would you would lose any any um, current if you if you cut out some of the wires so Once I'm ready to put the blower back in, we will be right back. All right, so I got the housing vacuumed off a little bit cleaner than it was. Um, so let's get the new unit over here. Uh, actually, the new one is just a little bit bigger too. Should be a problem. <laughs> By how much of a problem? Uh, probably need to be um, quarter inch bigger all over all around. Um, ah. Well, we can't run the fireplace without it. Yeah. Um, I mean, we could. Okay, so, after a bit of messing around with this thing, we're... So, part of the problem is, I think, the age of the, the old unit. The old unit's a little bit smaller, older, um... I have no idea how old it is. So, well, this is the same. The new one is the same unit. I think they just went to a slightly larger um, design. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut. 
the uh, I'll probably do the back corner um, I cut the back corner seams so this unit will fit in there um, I did manage to get in there as that housing is but it's putting too much outward pressure or inward pressure I'm sorry um, and causing the the new blower to kind of bind up so um, I gotta go get my Dremel and then we'll cut the uh, cut those things ideally we do this outside but got this big old long cord and it looks like a kind of a pain to get the cord out of the housing so we're gonna risk doing it inside okay well that took longer than than it should have but succeeded got the sides opened up um, enough I think maybe that we can get this new unit to Okay, so hopefully that's good enough because there's nothing that actually holds this back piece on apart from the welds on the side. <laughs> Alright. So I gotta redo that piece because that came off, but that's alright. Alright, let's see how this fits. Much bigger. All right. Where is it? Let's do this. Where's the cord? All right. I gotta redo the white one. No, just getting a good crimp on this um, attachment. And I can't, it doesn't reach the ground, so I can't push it on the ground. Yeah. Does it fit in there okay? Any better? Oh, yeah. I got them on the wrong feet. Yes. He's just having to use his muscles. He has big He does have big muscles. There we go. Okay. Plug this back in here again. Hope my head's not blocking the view. No. You're not fully in. Uh, go to the, uh, okay. one more. Okay, better. All right. All right, let's see
All right. Mm-hmm. All right, we have success. Now you gotta get it back <clears throat> on the back of the... Oh, I gotta get... All right, so now we need to hole. Oh, let's see if we can... All right, and I got four of them, but I don't know if I'm gonna use all four of them. Cause I don't know that I can actually get to the back ones. All right, so now we're going to <clears throat> attach the motor since it's now no longer as tight. And there we don't want it moving around. So we're going to <clears throat> we're just going to use two of them because, like I said, I can't. I just don't have access to the back. Two. Um, can you grab the screwdriver? Phillips or flat? Phillips, please. <laughs> Alright, so overall, I mean, if we didn't have to um, do anything with the housing, it's actually pretty easy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy repair or replacement. Um, if your housing fits your blower, then uh, even better. Even better. This probably would have taken um, less than an hour. Yeah, somewhere about an hour. Um, that was my big concern when, I, when we decided to replace this was it being more difficult than I can handle and. But, yes, yeah, so it's relatively easy. Um, so it's a little bit even easier if you have to mess around with the housing. But, it is what it is. So, I decided to go ahead and make this video because we did a YouTube search and found no videos on how to actually replace this so um like I said steps here first step make sure you disconnect power um while you're messing with the cords um whether that be turning a breaker off or unplugging it um in the second step you, you may have to um add the wire crimps or the the attachments um for so that you can uh, attach your new unit to the power supply for the from the old unit, um, and then just bolt it back on. That's all. That's all that. Uh, again, we didn't have to mess with this. Um, that's all you would have had to do. So I'm gonna put this back on and. Uh, I think that's going to end it for this video because I can't get the camera back there um, to show that very well. So, hope this video helps some people. Um, thank you for watching and we will see you guys in the next ones.